Hey guys, I'm back. Um, I'm going to show you guys a close-up of how to do um, a pinch bow, the easiest way to assemble a pinch bow. So um, just to remind you again, this is the uh, scalloped pinch bow from Andrea at um, Glitter Sparkle Studio. This is her pixie pinch bow. This is the one that I did in the video. I know it was a little hard to see, but so pixie pinch, pixie pinch, scalloped pinch, and she also has one that's similar to this that is um, not scalloped, and there are a number of different pinch bows that you can get out there um, that are a little tricky so people tend to have a, a hard time with these and I figured out um, recently very recently actually a super simple little hack I don't know other people may know about it I didn't until today so <clears throat> this is your starting shape uh, for the die that I used from Andrea this is the end pieces and the middle piece whoops So what I do to start is I fold this in half, keeping the shiny, glittery part in front, I mean inside. So what you're going to see when you fold it in half is the back. So you're going to fold it in half here. You don't want to fold it across the entire way because you don't want to give your bow a line here. So if you just fold it in the middle, making sure you've got it all lined up right, it's all square. See, both sides, it's squared, okay? And then just give yourself a good little crease right there. See the crease? Okay, so then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take either of these edges, I'm gonna fold it up to that crease. So when I fold it, you're gonna see the front. So I'm gonna take that crease, and hope you guys can see this, but I'm gonna fold it in like that, I don't want the middle because of the, the shape of this one. You'll, you'll see when you, when you fold it in. So you want this to kind of meet up in the middle. So see I have that folded like that. And then you want to do the other side as well. On the scalloped one, you're going to have your scallops overlap a bit. See? So after I do that, I'm going to take a little dab of hot glue on this portion right here and on this portion right here. So either side of center, I'm going to put a dab of hot glue. Watch. Dab. Dab. And then you're going to fold those pieces back over. like that okay so that's step one of your pinch that's the back of your bow you're seeing right now okay so after I've done that I'm going to take my front side and I'm gonna fold it back up in the middle like I did earlier like I did originally like that so if you just take your hot glue or whatever you're using and put a little dab in the middle there and pinch it. Give it a second to dry. Okay, so I think that's dry enough. So I have my pinch and you can see it's blowing on it guys. Okay, so there's my pinch. Nice and pinched. Glued all the way around, staying in place. Okay, so then you're going to take each side and you're just going to fold it back. So I'm folding it to where it ends up in the middle of the back. You can do it a little further if you prefer. It's up to you. I'm going to do it to the middle of the back, and you do that on either side. 
So again, you're going to fold it over. And you're going to see when I turn this around how pretty and perfect the front looks. Okay? So I'm going to glue these real quick. My little line of glue. And I used to do it a side at a time, but I learned recently that doing them together, really, honestly, it just it saves time. So put my ends together in the back like that. It's not super perfect, but you guys get the idea. Okay, see how they are on the back? And then look at what it looks like on the front. It's perfect. Well, I mean, mine's a little wonky because, like, I'm silly today. But if you do this method, you pinch and then wrap, and this is the easiest way to get the pinch right, is by doing my little backwards fold method, I think. Um, you're going to get a nice pinch like that. And then um, this one's really easy because you can just glue the back on right to each edge like that. I'll do it real quick because I'm here. So back lined up, back lined up. There's your back. And then like I was telling you guys earlier, this will be a good way for you to figure out, um, whoops. <laughs> Um, this is a good way to learn how to wrap your clips. So I take my clip and I glue it on with the rounded side onto the back of the bow. So like this. With a line of glue. Take my clip. Simple as that. Clip. And I'm going to take my centerpiece. It gets glued right to the front. Gosh, I keep hitting that thing. And I always kind of wrap it as I'm gluing to make sure that I've got it in the right place. And I do. That is centered. So then I'm going to come around to the back. I'm going to get rid of all of this. It's all over me. Okay, so I'm going to take my clip. And I'm going to open it up. I don't know if you can see that. I've got it open. See? Okay. And then I'm going to take my hot glue and I'm going to squeeze some into the clip. It's inside the clip. And I'm going to take one of my sides and I'm going to fold it in there into the clip. Hold it in place for a second. Okay. And then I'm going to take and do the same thing again. I'm going to put some glue inside the clip. And I'm going to fold this one in. Hold it in place for a second. And then let, it, let the clip down to let it finish drying. And you see I've got a nice wrapped clip. That is the finished scallop pinch bell. You can see that's the second one. This is the first one. And if you follow my little method, you're gonna get a nice loop, pinchy, beautiful pinch bell. I did the same thing with these, with the pixie pinch and the tiny pixie pinch. I did the exact same method. So that's it guys. That's how you do a pinch bow. That is my method. I find it the easiest. I hope you guys could um, all see that really well. Um, thanks for joining. Don't forget our YouTube is Upsy Daisy Designs. Um, you can find the link in our learning section. And um, if you have trouble finding that, it's either at the top of your screen if you're on a mobile phone. Um, or it's on the left side if you're on a computer or a, an iPad. Um, you just click the learning section, scroll through, you guys be sure to um, check out all of the information we have in the learning section. It's a lot of comprehensive information. Caroline has taken a lot of time to um, get all of that together for you guys, and she really has done 
a fantastic job. There is a lot of information there. It's all very useful information. Please, please, please go check it out. Um, and as always, happy crafting. Later, guys.